truth telling is the path to healing ourselves and our lands. You must tell yourself truth. We must speak truth to ourselves. That's why we're here. We say the truth. Even when some people don't want to listen, they don't want to hear it. Sorry. We will continue to say it. Because that's the truth. Mm -hmm. It is time to make things right. Mm -hmm. We need to take charge and become responsible. We cannot just keep wishing things away. It is not godly. It's not the right way to do, to do things. We need to begin to repair the damages, like my sister said, that we by ourselves are causing as a result of the dysfunctionality that came from the colonialism and neocolonialism. We are damaging things in the homes, in the families, in the communities, in the country, in the society. We need to stop ourselves. Those that need therapy, go for therapy. Please. So we are victims of trauma. Please. So we understand it. We've been traumatized. Living in Nigeria alone, for instance, hmm. is a trauma center. Hmm. It's like existing in a trauma center. So we don't really expect it to be normal. But we're saying there's help. But first of all, you need to tell yourself the truth that this is not okay. This is not normal. Being in a house where everybody's shouting. We're not saying shouting in excitement that you're happy something good is happening. That's what we're saying. We're saying anger. Shouting. Fighting. <laughs> beating. Bro, everything. It's not normal. It's dysfunctionality. And it has led to destruction of our society. Truth and reconciliation equal to peace and healing, both at individual level and at community healing level. We need to heal. It's time to begin to heal. We'll give example, marriage and divorce, because we we'll like giving example in what we're saying, practical examples, so that you won't say you don't understand what we're saying. Marriage or divorce, either of them, they do not need to be messy. If you are deciding to be inside the marriage, it doesn't need to be messy. If you are deciding to leave, that you feel like, no, I can't take this in anymore, it doesn't need to be messy either. <laughs> you don't need to deny your children their rights because you have your parents, either your mother or your father, you have influence over the children. You tell them, don't talk to that other person. No. If you talk to that other person, then I'm out of here. No, you're destroying them. You're bastardizing their psychology. Mm. Let love lead. Let mm. friendship prevail. Even if sometimes they say, agree to disagree. Stay and say, okay, because of this and this and this, I can't go with you anymore. I can't be with you anymore. We don't need to shout it. We can say it's like a conversation. And then we settle it amicably. Mm -hmm. It's okay to create boundaries. But let relationship be cordial and respectful. Even if you decide to go your way, please let it be cordial and respectful. Marriage and love is not by force. It's not a do or die affair. That's another place that the church lied to you until you dare to part you. Then you are there either to kill the other one, the other one will kill you. It's a lie. You see, they're already coming to confess. You see this one too, they will come to confess. Because they lied to our people. Stay there until death do you part. This is a priest that he never that never married. Oh. <laughs> Every father that never married that does not know what marriage is, telling mm -hmm. you that if you enter, you have entered. You stay there. If it's that easy, why is he not married? He's going there in the society, molesting children and wearing white. <laughs> in African culture, fathers of father's family are the ones that give daughters out in marriage. Except when there's clear danger or threat to life. Let's not be doing things upside down. They say, my people say, omenane. You leave omenane and start doing omenenu. That means you leave the things that, the, this is the way the things should be done. You'll be doing it the wrong way. Why? Why are you doing that? Because Chris uh, is telling them to do otherwise. Okay. Okay. Yes. You don't need your brother's blessing. I mean, your daddy now, I'm the daddy yes. you. 
I'm your daddy in the Lord. So if Ooh. I say marry this guy, marry this guy, I don't care if your father shows up to the wedding or not, marry the guy. Mm. Well, it's not right. You don't need to carry certain baggages to the next generation. These are psycho why you're having psychological issues. It will not cost us much to carry everyone along in whatever we're doing. And these people are inside church answering dicking and dicknesses. Yet the anger and unforgiveness and what they're carrying inside your heart, you can't imagine it. Praying and fasting every week. Praying and fasting to demons. Whether divorced or married, celebrate good times together. Find a way to do it for the sake of the children. It's true. We know that actions have consequences. But let that consequence, let it not include protracted anger being expressed in public. You are like this. <coughs> your, your daughter is wedding. Your son is wedding. All you can be doing is next to your young. You tight face this way. You tight face in that way. Even when they say be on high table, yeah, they are doing like M. Quatorado, like uh, idol. <coughs> Please stop spoiling the children's pictures. <laughs> not that serious and these people do go for money mass afternoon mass evening mass pray to mary pray to white jesus still their heart is as dark darker than that of the devil mm, mm, mm. it is not okay if nobody told you we will tell you we are daughters of truth we will tell you stop bastardizing our communities stop destroying our families the dysfunctionality is too much and is unnecessary. It is. Identity, culture, and tradition should not be discarded for the sake of white man. It's our identity. This is who we are. We don't want the identity crisis. If in their place they don't value fathers and value relationship, that is their own. Our own is different. We value everyone. We value mothers, we value fathers, uncles, uh, uh, aunts, uh, uh, grandma, grandpa, uh, uh, everybody, children. We This is who we are. Do not throw it because that's mentality, colonial mentality, in slavery, slavery mentality, making you to forget yourself and pick that of the colonial monsters. <clears throat> Please, whether you're staying married, or you are divorced, try and celebrate together. Whether it's graduation, weddings, birthdays, naming ceremonies, please find a way, find a formula. Let's put our differences aside for the sake of the children that are graduating or that have been naming, been named or doing birthdays for their sake. It's not about you. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Take whatever demon that is worrying you by the side. Stop whatever it. the man did to you or whatever the woman did to you, keep it aside. Say, we have to do this for the sake of the child. Because each time both of you are doing all those nonsense, the people that suffer are the children. And it's taken to the next generation, to the next That dysfunctionality continues. And mm -hmm. people are coming into marriages with baggages. Trauma upon trauma. Trauma upon trauma. Stop traumatizing our children. Protracted unforgiveness is very unhealthy. It causes depression, anxiety, all those psychological stuff. There are different ways and tools to aid people through journey of forgiveness. Parents, parents, whether father or mother, Make sure you find a way to establish and build a relationship with your children. They need you. Irrespective of what is going on with your spouse or ex-spouse. Even when the other one is stopping you, send emails. Look for ways. Send somebody. Don't stay there and say, mm, I've not spoken to my children in seven years. My <laughs> wife will not let me. My, well, my ex-wife will not let me. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> send people. Look for somebody that is close to them, behind the woman. Send a message to your son, to your daughter. 
I'm your daddy. I'm sorry what you're going through. I'm sorry what happened. Please, can we have a relationship? Please. I'm not saying you hate your mother. I'm not saying you hate any other person. Mm -hmm. But just you and I. Please, it's important to me. There's no child that you beg like that. No matter what the mother is saying. That will not say, okay, dad. Usually, they will, guys. Yes. Usually they will come behind. Rather, they will not tell their mother. They will secretly go and speak to you. If they know their mother will be upset, they will not tell her. But they will connect with you. Don't feel comfortable raising other people's children and saying your own children, my wife, my ex-wife, every day, come on social media, my ex-wife will not allow me to see my children for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> clap for yourself yes you are fixing other people's lives you can't fix your own stop giving stop, stop giving excuses use your brain once throw away the ego those children will grow and they won't need you anymore who is losing it's not okay forgiveness means to move past the incident and the hurt it doesn't necessarily mean you must forget. It doesn't mean necessarily mean that you will carry the person and the two of you will be uh, kissing and hobbing and nothing. No, that's not what forgiveness means. It's releasing your own self and deciding like, okay, what happened has happened. Let me move. Let us move to the next level and find a new way of doing things. Let's be human at any point in time. It's okay to set boundaries, but be human. If you see somebody, your ex-husband or ex-wife is dropping dead as a human being, run to the person and help the person. We are not saying you should remarry the person. That is being human. Parents, please do not exercise your power, your power of love over your children. Oh, if that man is coming, then I won't be there. Oh, if that woman is going to be there, then count me out. Shut up! <laughs> you are too demonic to be breathing. Yeah. it's okay not to forget because the to forget is the brain that will have to forget but be human make up your mind to be human truth and reconciliation equal to peace matthew 5 9 says blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the children of god it pains us that most of you are inside church calling yourself Christians and children of God. Yet, the unforgiveness inside your heart, the heat coming from it, they can use it to boil eggs. Mm. We talk of family level, we talk of com community level. Those who are operating the systems that are oppressing our people, we need to stop. Whether in church, tradition, politics, everywhere, culture, tradition, if it's oppressing our people, we need it to be stopped. You need to stop it. At national level and community level, it is time to embrace a system that we put an end to all oppressions. All oppressions. At all levels. We are not taking this anymore. No indigenous people should be seen as minority. No human being should be made to feel inferior. Even if the person is a disabled person or whatever, is a human being first. It is time to end the evil, oppressive Nigerians, inverted federalism, and the colonial and neo colonial system that is based on 1999 military constitution. It's time to end it. Don't make us to come here and be talking every day, 1999, because you're safe, you're deaf and dumb. Your Papa G.O. has already started confessing, asking her, and asking for forgiveness. There are many things they will have to come and ask for forgiveness. Many, many. But you are going to push them. Social media, everywhere. Push the truth everywhere. Nina's proposition and Constitutional Force First Major have the right steps towards a peaceful resolution of all constitutional grievances. Yes. yes. Because we have told you does it come in? What happened? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. okay. 
So Lilith's proposition and Costner first measure have the right, the right steps towards a peaceful resolution of all Costner uh, grievances that we've been having in that land. You see that tree who told you that the root of all your pain, the things that is making you to be dysfunctional in the home, in the church, in the society, is 1999 constitution. It is not your ancestors. It is not demons. It's not devil. It is not. The, it is 1999 unitary constitution. You see the fruit coming from there. The, where is bringing corruption, insecurity, poverty, hunger, un unemployment, police brutality, everything that has made you broken as a human being. You in Nigeria, you in Africa, is the colonial structure, the colonial system. That's why we are here fighting for the colonization of Africa and Nigeria. It must happen. It must happen. You say it must happen. We must take away everything that they gave us. Nobody that is your enemy, your colonizer, that will give you a structure, a policy that will work for you. No, that's impossible. No. So we have our local solution to our local problem. We are diverse. We are multi-ethnic. That is the truth. That's our reality. But we have been like that for ages. And we are living fine until the white man and Arab people showed on the horizon. So we are going back. Mind you, a system, a bad system, will never appear wrong. To those that are benefiting from it. Nope. So if you're waiting for your church leaders and political leaders and traditional leaders that are benefiting from the wrong system in Nigeria to one day and say, oh, okay, this is wrong. You're joking. That's not going to happen. They will do everything to defend it and to at the detriment of the larger society. This is a brother who says wisdom hobby. You see, most of the time, when we put anything that did not come original from us, we did not cut off where it came from. You look down, you're going to see, because we like giving credit to people that own any part of work that we're doing. Because all we're doing is to use these materials to teach our people and to connect our people to some of the people that are saying the same thing that we're saying. So that when you see them on social media, you can follow them, like them, because they're saying what we are saying. We are taking you away from toxicity to where you can get accurate information. Those operating the system that is oppressing the people, it is a moment of truth. Hmm. Whether you are doing it through politics, religion, tradition, now uh, uh, leaders, it is time to stop the oppression. It is time because leaders. For your own good. For your own good. Because eventually we get to you and you will be the, the consequences of your action will be on you and your children. So we are only advising you. We are not begging you. We don't beg. Because we know that what we're doing is right. When you are pushing truth, it's only a question of time. Bible has already said what will happen. That once light is coming, it said the gate of hell cannot prevail. Oh no. The gate of hell cannot continue to stand. Oh, no. Jesus. That's why we continue to push. Ninas, Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination. Alliance. We are together. United for freedom. We have done so many things. They have done many things. Worked in step by step. Repudiation of the 1999 constitution is already done, done and dusted. Anyone we do, we dust it, keep it aside. Constitutional first major done on the 16th, December 2020, done, dusted. Where we are now is transition. Because some people say, oh, when you take away the constitution, eh, there's going to be vacuum. No, there's not going to be any vacuum because that's why it's transition from point A to point v, B, from evil, from darkness. To light, we are transiting. So you are going to join us as we continue. If you see, you see other things that need to happen in small time. 
shut down any preparation to any election, whether P2B or TICO, all of them. Any 2027 general election is not what we need. Because those people that will win will still rule you by 1999 constitution. So it doesn't make sense. We need to, any discussion, anybody coming to you, your neighborhood, to discuss 2027 general election. Please, also, give them race. Let them run away. What we need is transition to union renegotiation. So that we'll discuss how we want to leave. Thank you.